What's up, guys? Daddy and Jay here. Just chilling, having a Q&A because we have some explaining to do. Well, we did the voice, uh, the ghost box, the last video we did. And in that video, we spoke to spirits. Today, we did a, a whole session without recording it. Found out there's six people that died in this house. We found out. Well, how are we going to explain this? Um... Well, there's been some serious events we've had happen in our home. Right, after, after the video that we've done. After the first video. So right. this is us explaining what happened to us today. We attempted to record our... And it didn't video. let us. It didn't yeah. want us to do it. But when we did it by ourselves, it was uh, giving us more uh, feedback from the spirit world. And it told us six people had died and bled... And it was just like certain words it was calling out. So I called up a friend of mine. I asked him, can you look at the history of my house? Because where I live used to be hotels about 100 years ago. These, this building where I lived, 100 years old. It's been since the 1900s. It gave us six names in this voice box. So we looked them up and we found out and we wanted to share it with you why we have ghosts in our house. So let's start with the first one. In the 1900s when there were slaves, there was a woman named... Uh, Kathleen. Kathleen, and she died in our tub. Okay, it's in newspapers and everything. We looked it up. And uh, what's the next one? The next one is in 1945, a man named uh, Jake and his wife got murdered in front of the the door right there. The front door. By um, by a man named Benjamin. Now the names that we're saying, we looked them up. We got it from the voice box. And it turns out that Benjamin was sleeping with the wife and got caught in her affair. And Benjamin killed the wife and the husband in front of the door. Because one of the questions we asked, because they said they were bleeding. We were like, you're bleeding? What do you mean? And then the next thing when we asked them, what do you mean by bleeding in the voice box? They said they got torn apart. I said, that's it. We got to look up this story. So in 1945, a man and woman got torn up to pieces by bullets. In front of my door, and the man that killed them, you see the door behind me. The door the, behind us. The yeah. man that killed them killed himself in the parking lot in front of my house. That was spooky. Yes. The, the man that killed them, Benjamin, killed himself in the parking lot after he killed the two people in front of the door. Okay? In 2004, a, a little girl by the, I forgot her name, Alice. London. London. The girl, London had polio, the disease, and died from polio in her room. In 2005? 2006. Two th a, a little boy named... What was his name? We don't even know the little boy's name. It might have been Luke, because there was a Luke we haven't figured yes. out. We didn't figure out who Luke was. Because there were six names the, the voice box gave us, and we took these six names and we looked in the history of this house. And these are the people we found out about. Luke was a little boy who was in the backyard playing in their pool and drowned. What's the matter? And he drowned in his what? All right, you guys. I'm on my earpiece with somebody on the phone with us. Right. And the person we're on the phone with just confirmed that Luke is the little boy that drowned in the pool in our backyard. Is she found the article? Yes. Um, it happened in the Tampa Tribune. Now everyone knows that from Florida knows that Tampa Tribune is no longer around. So she found an old clipping. I'm not sure where she found it at. It don't matter. But she did say that the little boy's name was Luke. He was about eight years old, and he died in our backyard. See, the reason why all this started for us was because certain events were happening in the house. Um, I'm a Christian. You know, I believe in spirits. I believe in God, you know. And, um, well, in our house, things were falling off the table Dishes was getting smacked. We were hearing pennies fall on the ground. We didn't know what it was. It was it was investigation. So we investigated our own house. I mean, some people say, and the ghost venture people will say, never do your own house. But I'm I'm thinking, wait a minute, like these unrested souls. Let me know at least know what's going on with them, so I understand why it's happening. The marble one time dropping. The, the marble dropping one time. Um, I've seen when I'm sleeping, half asleep, I've seen spirits walking in the house. I think it's people I run up and I run to see if somebody broke in. It's nobody breaking in. It was just, you know, shadows and stuff like that. And when I'm personally awake by myself when he's asleep and I have trouble sleeping, I come to the kitchen to, like, get something to drink or to get a munchies or something. I do feel something watching me. 
And when the window behind us, I don't know if it's going to happen now, but the window behind us sometimes opens. And it looks like a little girl present sitting there. You kind of see an image, then it just disappears. So it's like your mind plays tricks on you. Another example of stuff happening, uh, me and Jay tried doing a sound barrier on our kitchen wall. Because right, because you, know, you got neighbors, you don't want them to hear you inside. And we don't want to disturb so, them. Jay had the smart idea to take um, DVDs, put them on Velcro, put it on our wall. So, for two nights, we kept on hearing the DVDs fall down. Yeah, it just fell down off just, the wall. Just, and it's on Vel Velcro. You know, Velcro is sticky. It's very sticky. So, like she said, sorry. You want to show them what we mean by the, the Velcro? So, look. You got the Velcro right there. Right there. And it just sticks on the wall with your Velcro. You know what Velcro is. So, what the, the point is, though... We've witnessed these spiritual activities, so we got curious, you know, we watch all those uh, YouTubers, you know, those cool YouTubers, they go and they, they investigate uh, haunted mansions, or they investigate abandoned haunt, buildings, abandoned buildings, and they use this app, They I didn't use their app, but I, you know, because we wasn't sure if we really wanted to get into this, which we are continuing, in other places we're going to investigate and then find out the story and give you the uh, heads up on what's going on because we live in a neighborhood that the Civil War fought. So yeah. maybe we'll get some cool stories or maybe we'll get some weird stories because our neighborhood was built, uh, was a highway at one time and then turned into a residential area. So it was a highway and owned by one man and then people moved in and then there were, you know, a lot of history in this neighborhood. Like we just explained to you yeah. <laughs> about, you know, us. Finding this out, so we decided to get some apps, you know, some free apps, and started talking to the spirits, <laughs> and that's where we are right now. Another weird thing happens to us, like we we when we do this, we always say, you know, entities of positivity. Right. We think the little kids bounce from room to room, so yeah. at night we have this thing where we turn off our TVs and we could be dead asleep, and when we wake up in the morning, our TVs are on. Yeah. Sometimes we shut off the TVs to go to bed, and we go to sleep, and then TVs pop back on. So it's, yeah. I think it, those little kids, maybe they, you know, whatever the case might be, they playing around with us. They're probably intrigued with video games. Right. <laughs> so we've, we've also speak to some evil stuff that I cast out of the house. You know, I've been a Christian for 30 years, so I cast out a few, you know, demons that we spoke to that's not allowed to be here. Yeah. Well, you know, so they interrupted the whole thing. And the crazy part is... The, uh, before, when I was trying to... Because I knew it was a woman. Because we got this voice box. I did buy a voice box on my app. And I heard a woman's voice. So I was like, oh, let me hear that woman's voice again. And something on the voice box kept saying, shh, shh, shh. And I didn't understand why, right? And I was like, oh, babe, let's talk, try to talk to the woman. Because then maybe the guys don't want to talk. Turns out, they said on the voice box, on the, it tells you words. And you put the sentences together to figure out what they're telling you. So we put the words together and it said... Shameful act happened in September. So when we looked up about the the woman on 1945, she cheated on her husband. And that's why they got killed in front of the doorway. And yeah. so when we were trying to talk to the woman, the, the spirit of Jake, the guy that the husband must have been telling us to stop talking about his wife because she did a shameful act. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of great things in the Dottie and Jay show with discovering. We're, we're excited for our new content. What's the matter with that? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, we're, we're excited for our new contact, and we're going to come back, and we're going to explain to everything to you. We just wanted to give you like a QA and a on, on, on our next video. We tried to put it in the video, but nobody wanted to talk while we were recording. It's so weird. Like, they it, were shy. It went, it went quiet. And also, we noticed that when every time Jay, right here, will communicate, it would go very little. Yeah. And then when I started communicating, it was just bouncing we, Maybe we place. should tell them the other part about the expecting. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, like, we don't know. We, we've we tried to have a kid, me and Dottie, you know, of course. We're in, yeah. a, we're in a relationship. When you're in a relationship for a long time, eventually, you know, you want a kid. So, lately, she's been acting weird, and she, her cravings is really off about eating. <laughs> so, we were wondering if she was pregnant or not, you know? So, when we heard the demon talk and laugh in the voice box, I, I cast him out and said, you're not allowed here. And then, then another voice came out and said... She's with child, and she's a child of God. You can't... Can't harm her. You can't harm her. So the woman that's on the phone with us right now, that's in her ear, was at a place where she's at right now. We're not introducing her yet. Yeah. Not your business. But 
the point is she's at a she's at a place right now where she's staying and a woman came up to her and said, Hey, do you have an older sister? I just want to let you know that she's with child. She said the exact words that the spirit told us. So we're a little freaked out about it. We don't know. Maybe we have a little blessing on the way. We never know. Ooh. We just wanted to give you a little bit more of what we did today. Yeah. So that's Dottie and... This is a new content for Dottie and Jay. Yes. Um, when we haven't gave up, you know, doing Gaming After Dark. We're no. still going to do that. Yes. But we embarked on something that very intrigues us. Yeah. And we're looking forward to seeing where that takes us. So you'll see us more maybe outside. We yes. found an event to go outside and find some spirits. <laughs> and we'll we'll be sharing with that, you know. I heard, I heard the park that we live next to has... It has uh, a little event. A little, a little, little history. history. Yeah. So the next so, time you see us on the YouTube, you know, Dottie and Jay show, you'll see us in the park talking to spirits. We'll try to get a couple clippings of it because we have uh, our voice boxes come from our tablets and our cell phones. So, and you know, now you know the apps work, guys, because <laughs> you know what? The, they told us six people died in this house. We looked it up and it's six people that died here. Yeah. So... Very so exciting far, times. That's, that's that's the numbers we know. Right. Um, no, we're three, not gonna do it no more. Yeah. No, we found not. out the history. All that we yeah. Sorry, I didn't touch you. We we totally found out the history of what's going on here and why we have spirit activities. We're not gonna explore it no more in our house because this is where we live, and you don't know. We don't know if these things are angry or whatever. And I don't want to be casting out spirits all the time. I want to live in peace. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore outside and maybe have a video or two for you guys to to witness with us. Or maybe we'll just sit in our backyard and do like a little session in the backyard. Yeah, whatever, but not in yeah. the house. Not in the house mm. itself. We're going to talk to the kid, the little kid out there? Luke? It wouldn't... It, that wouldn't but he comes inside, so like... Well, from what from what I was told, his, his soul is trapped between the kitchen and the out, outside. Well, when we get a new story, we'll yeah. definitely come to you and explain <laughs> everything to you. Everything we went through. It, it was insane. It, yeah. Uh, I never experienced this before when it comes to afterlife. Like, with God and the spirit of God, I've experienced spirits. But not, you know, other people's stories. So, it was in, it was very intriguing. It was awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. Daddy and Jay will come back to you and we'll give you more information. Catch you. Uh, like, like, share, yeah, subscribe, subscribe, and always tune in. We'll be back soon. Laters. Is that the button or is that the button? The red button. The red button. Okay, guys. Alrighty. Touch the button. It won't work. Alright, hold on.